really easy fudge recipe that you can throw together very fast. Uh, I know fudge is one of those things that a lot of times we think, oh, fudge is too hard for me to make. This one will change your mind. Now, our secret ingredient always throws people off because it is pinto beans. The thing to remember with fudge is there's all kinds of different fillers that we can put in there that make our fudge uh, have the consistency. Uh, some people use a processed cheese. This is pinto beans. There's all kinds of fudge recipes out there. What we want to do first is puree those. And we have them heated, but you can tell they're very dry. Uh, so you do want to make sure that you drain all the liquid off of those beans. Uh, you can use uh, fresh pinto beans or you can use canned pinto beans, but you do want them to be cooked, drained, and rinsed. So uh, that's very important because if you get too much liquid, you will end up with a lovely batch of chocolate syrup and I know that from experience. So, make sure that your beans are drained very well. Okay, now that we have our beans pureed, we're gonna put those in our bowl and we're gonna add in our margarine, our cocoa, our vanilla, and our baker's chocolate and we're gonna get that mixed together. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can just mash uh, the pinto beans, or you can use a blender, either way. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in the bowl, but if you do have the added benefit of the food processor, you could go ahead and do this step, as I throw chocolate, uh, you could go ahead and do this step in your food processor as well. in our vanilla and our cocoa. The other thing about this recipe is you do want to go easy. Um, the, the hardest part about this one is the stirring uh, so that you don't end up wearing half of your cocoa or half of your powdered sugar. Now remember, I'm showing you how to make a fudge, which means that although this one has a, a good source of protein, it is fudge, uh, which means that it is a little bit higher in calorie. In fact, one uh, of our squares still equals um, over 100 calories. So remember, fudge is something that uh, we, we love, tastes good, and uh, it's good for us in moderation. Uh, you want to keep that in mind. Just because it's got pinto beans as its base doesn't mean that it's considered uh, a free ring. We're going to keep adding in our cocoa and getting it stirred around. And then we'll start adding in our powdered sugar. We've gotten our cocoa all blended together with our beans and our margarine. And we have added just a tiny bit of water back to it. Um, remember, I told you to make sure that your pinto beans were, were well drained, um, but sometimes I get them too dry. It's easier to go back and add a little bit in than it is to take it out. Because like I said, you might end up with a really good batch of chocolate syrup if you, if you don't watch it. At this point, you just start gradually adding in your powdered sugar. And this recipe, like I said, although uh, it may seem a little bit healthier than some fudge, uh, it does have two pounds of powdered sugar. And so don't let your eyes deceive you. Yes, that is the entire bag of powdered sugar. Uh, and you just start doing the same thing. Start folding that powdered sugar in and blending it. It will get very, very thick. That's why I tell you if you have a food processor or a blender, uh, this works very well uh, in there because your arm will begin to get very, very tired. Once we get all of this uh, mixed together and blended well, we've, we're going to put it in a 9 by 13 pan that we've greased slightly with uh, cooking spray. And you put that in there and then we'll slice it into our fudge pieces. All right, we've got all of our powdered sugar 
in there and mixed up well. And you can see we've really got a good consistency there. Now we're gonna add in the pecans. Uh, these are the, the finely chopped pecans, but you can use any, uh, any kind that you want or you can leave them out. If your family's not real big into uh, pecans, you could always have uh, fudge without pecans. Get that mixed up. Make sure you've got all your powdered sugar off the bottom. Like I said, this is a, a, a really good fudge recipe. It's kind of one of those no fail. Sometimes uh, in the winter months, it's kind of hard to make our candy sometimes because of the weather and the humidity. This one doesn't rely so much on that. Uh, and so you can really make your friends and family think that you're just the uh, Susie homemaker. We're gonna put this into our pan. Like I said, it's really thick. And then we're simply gonna press it down into the pan. And there you go, you have a lovely pan of fudge. You might pop this in the refrigerator for just a little bit, let it set hard, and then you can cut it into your uh, one inch pieces. Now, here's the trick, you guys. Out of this pan of fudge, you get 96 pieces. Uh, so they're not really big. And each one of our 96 pieces is 142, 152 calories. So a little goes a long ways but it sure is good around the holiday season. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.